Hello all, welcome to Tutlings. In our previous video, we have successfully deployed an ASP.NET Core MVC web application on Google Cloud Platform on a service called Google Cloud Run. In this tutorial, we are going to map a custom domain to this Cloud Run generated URL. Before we proceed, let's go ahead and play around with this application. Let's create a new animal and let's call it giraffe and it is four years old and here is the nice image of the giraffe. All right. So here is the email that got uploaded and it is talking to a PostgreSQL database where all records for each and every animal lies in the database. All right. So this looks good. Let's go ahead and map the custom domain for this link. So for that, all we need to do is land on the Cloud Run homepage manage custom domains so we will either have an option to add an existing domain by adding a mapping or you can go ahead and register a new domain as i already have a domain which is tutlinks.com i'll go ahead and create a subdomain for the tutlinks something like animalgeekdom.tutlinks.com and i'll add the mapping here right so let's see how to do that Let's go ahead and click Add Mapping. Select a service to map to. The service is Animal Kingdom, US Central One, which is the Cloud Run service. We'll be verifying a new domain. The base domain, which is the naked domain, apart from any other subdomains. For example, if you have like tutlings.com, it will be like tutlings.com. So we want to map our Cloud Run service to Animal Kingdom tutlings.com but though we just need to give the base domain here to verify what we are doing right now here is we are telling that google cloud platform that i am the owner of this particular dom so i'll have some uh, verification methods uh, that will be uh, asked in the next steps so let's go ahead and click on continue the domain verification is in progress so it might take a few minutes for changes to propagate right so let's see these two are disabled the reason for that is we haven't yet verified the domain ownership with the Google Cloud platform. So let's go ahead and click on verify in Webmaster Central. So there are various ways you can just uh, verify this. Let's go ahead and choose GoDaddy. And as I have registered my domain on GoDaddy, here I am on the G DNS management. And if you scroll down, so I have delegated my DNS configuration to be managed by Cloudflare, right? So here I am on the Cloudflare where I have the DNS configuration for my website tutlinks.com. Let's switch back to the web center. So we have to add a TXT record, right? So I'll go ahead and choose other here because I could not see Cloudflare here. TXT record value will be this. And what we'll do is add a TXT record like this by clicking on add a record. And it will be of type txt and the rate and content is with let's say this all right so yeah here it is so once we have added that let's come back here and see if that shows up here by clicking on verify mm -hmm. all right so i'm able to successfully verify the domain's ownership with google cloud is with the help of webmaster center once i have verified my ownership of the domain i'll come back to the add mapping uh, tab where I have opened the webmaster central verification method. I'll click on refresh here and I'll see in the drop down my website, which is tutings.com. So here now I'll go ahead and assign the subdomain animal kingdom and I'll go ahead and continue. But in your case, you might want to leave blank option for the uh, subdomain and go ahead and map your uh, cloud run for the naked domain itself but i already have my blog running on tutlinks.com so i'll go ahead and uh, let this cloud run service run on animal kingdom .tutlinks.com. so i'll go ahead and click on continue so it is updating the dns record so i can go ahead and click on done as we can see here it is not able to find this entry on my DNS records. What we are supposed to do is click on action and click on DNS records. This is giving me a hint that I am supposed to add canonical name record on my DNS settings such that the name is Animal Kingdom and the type is CNN that must point to ghs.com. 
Google Postgres task form. Our website will be this. So let me just go ahead and see. This is how it looks like. Once I land back on the cloud air DNS management, I will go ahead and add a canonical record, this C name record, and the name is Animal Kingdom, and the target is as mentioned here, ghs dot googlehosted.com all right so let me go ahead and save and this generally takes time to propagate close this okay so after almost 51 minutes here i am on my home page this is what the animal kingdom dot domain looks like now which is actually the cloud run apps url all right i hope you enjoy watching this video if you found this video helpful please do give it a like please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon have a great day Bye.